Okay, cookies, welcome back. Today, we are continuing our slow cooking series with my favorite dish to make, beef stew. And of course, we're doing it in a slow cooker. This is an easy recipe, so let's cook, boo. My older cookies know that I hate packaged stew meat no matter how long you cook that stuff it will not get tender so i just buy a chunk roast and slice it up myself in about one inch chunks and then i'm just going to season it with some onion powder garlic powder some accents and a little bit of salt and pepper now i'm going to shake on some Worcestershire salt did i say that right y'all know i can't say that word anyway shake it on there and i'm making a mess i gotta get a bowl y'all hold on boo Okay, now that's better. That's cute. We got a little bowl. All right, now keep shaking. Shake it like a salt shaker. All right, now get out your tongs and we're going to mix it up a little bit. Get that seasoning and that sauce well distributed. Now shake on a little bit of flour. This is going to help thicken our stew. We want a nice, hearty, thick stew. So shake that flour on there, break out the tongs, and mix it well. Now let's go to the stove. Come on, boo. Now it's time to brown this beef. I'm adding a little bit of vegetable oil to my pan. You can use olive if you prefer. And then we're just gonna make sure that we spread that oil all around our skillet. Time to add in the beef. Okay, we just wanna sear this on both sides and make sure that we get a nice brown color on this meat. Spread it out like they like to have their own room, child. They, they, they're real particular about that. We want it to brown. We don't want it to steam. So give them enough room. If you have to do this in batches, do it in batches. I think I did like two and a half batches of this meat. But make sure we're not trying to cook it all the way through. No, we just want to brown it on both sides. So we're just going to cook it for one minute per side. See, and this is what we're looking for. That beautiful, nice brown color. Yes, that's where the flavor is. And this stuff is looking good. This is what we want, that nice brown meat. And you see those little brown bits that's sticking to the pan? Y'all know that's not burnt. That's flavor. What did I tell you it's called? My old cookies. Y'all know it's good. Tell me what it is in the comments. Don't embarrass me in front of company. Y'all know I taught you that word. Y'all know. <laughs> All right, babies, go ahead and add in those onions. And we're going to cook them, saute them until they're translucent. Now we're going to use the remaining flour we had left over from the meat and just sprinkle it onto the onions, that oil in the pan. The flour is going to soak it up. This is going to help our stew thicken as well. Now add in a teaspoon of tomato paste. We're almost done with the prep. Just hang in there. Now pour a cup of red wine. Only add a half a cup into this. Drink the rest. Bring it up to a simmer, and what it's gonna do is help release all of that good, tasty fun. Oops, I done told y'all the answer to it. Y'all know. Anyway, it's gonna help loosen up all of that good stuff and thicken up that. Oh God, this is gonna be everything. And to my mommies and mommies to be, if you're expecting, don't worry about this wine. All that alcohol is gonna cook out of there. You're good. Okay. If you are still a little scared, use beef broth. But go ahead and put that into your slow cooker. Now add in the meat and all of the juices that it's accumulated in that plate while it was resting. Add the vegetables except for the peas. And of course the beef broth. And some dried thyme. You don't want to add any more salt and pepper just yet because the meat is seasoned. So we're going to wait and adjust that later. Stir it really well and push it down into that broth. All right, cookies, you can either cook this on high for four hours or on low for eight to 10 hours. It's up to you, boo. Now our stew has been cooking for three hours. Lord Jesus. Oh, look at that. Okay, stay focused. Now it's been cooking for three hours and 40 minutes. During the last 20 minutes of cook time, we're going to add in our frozen peas. Now taste, adjust the seasonings if you need to. Cover it up for 20 more minutes. Please, ma'am, please, sir, do yourselves a favor and make my beef stew recipe. Just look at this. It's thick. I didn't have to add any extra flour. I didn't have to make a slurry with flour, water. Mm -mm, we need all that. This is perfection, okay? And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> but seriously guys serve this over rice mashed potatoes egg noodles or just eat it like i'm doing right here by itself it doesn't need any help <laughs> but cookies thank you so much for watching if you're new here be sure to subscribe recipe link is in the description box i'll talk to you guys later be blessed